We have to win every single day we go to work. And a terrorist only has to win once. The mission is intense in the midst of another laid back summer in the small town of War Road, Minnesota. A place where fishing, resort recreation, and hockey dominates most days. That's what we're in. We're in small town America um, where everyone knows when something's not right. And where a community is key to keeping a close eye. Eight states fall in U.S. Customs and Border Protection's Grand Forks sector, along with some 850 miles of Canadian border. Its war road station tracks nearly 180 of those. Most of it by water. On a sunny day on the weekends, and there's you know 1,500 to 2,000 boats out of here. What's the bad actor? Which boat's the bad one? Public affairs yeah, officer Chris Grogan explains right. that patrol's daily detail. Can you toss the starboard bow, please? Safe boats on the lookout for cross-border traffic. We could see somebody, you know, leaving from Canadian shoreline and coming towards the United States or coming straight into the United States. We start on the War Road River, which empties into the massive Lake of the Woods, one million acres of water with more than 14,000 islands, where you can easily see how fast Minnesota weather can move in. You can go from this to six foot waves with a, the slightest amount of wind. Supervising border agent Bill Western believes the unpredictable terrain is enough to keep some border crossers away. Straight in front of us is Canada. Offering a candid look at their work after their colleagues have made headlines for weeks. And the story of what we're doing is very important. You know, we are securing the nation's borders. For some time, all eyes have focused on the country's southern border rather than what's happening here up north. And there is a huge difference. Last year, 300,000 people were arrested by Border Patrol agents along the country's southern border, while 3,000 were here to the north. Nearly 500 of those arrests were made in this sector. Most were people from Mexico, 440 of them men in this country illegally. But it's not just people Border Patrol agents say pose a threat. Big drugs and weapons busts have been detected by air. Last year, northern Border Patrol agents made 68 meth seizures, more than a million and a half dollars worth of the drug, along with 29 heroin and 46 cocaine busts. A plane carrying 300 pounds of cocaine from Canada was intercepted by Border Protection last spring. There are people that are trying to hurt the country, and there's only a few of us that stand in the way of that. Deputy Director of Air Operations David Fulcher maintains the importance of a visible presence. Sending a message that this is not an easy smuggling route, albeit a challenging area to patrol. If you do not have the information of, of where to go and what to look for, uh, the probability of, of detecting it, it goes way down. The same can be said of such a vast amount of water. The bite stops when the sun goes down. It's why agents stop every boat they see after dark. One second. Like these two fishermen from Canada who crossed into the U.S. Basically that uh, names are correct and accurate. Everything looks really good. Enjoy your stay, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. In this case, they had their paperwork in order and could finish up before heading back to Canada. They were compliant, they were cooperative, and they're on their way. Vigilance in our own backyard, surrounding a boundary where there's no such thing as a straight line. Can you find a more beautiful place? And we want to make sure that this place stays a beautiful place, and that's why we're out here, you know, securing the northern border. Along the Minnesota-Canadian border, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Agents also seized more than 1,000 pounds of marijuana last year along the northern border. But beginning this fall, marijuana will be legal in Canada. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says that won't change their work. The sale, possession, and distribution of the drug remains illegal under U.S. federal law. As we continue our look at border security tomorrow night, Liz is going to sit down with the man who's been at the helm of the War Road Station for 20 years. How a once two-man job has grown into a 24-hour operation. That's tomorrow night at 6 on WCCO.